One of my favorite things in life right now is Netflix. I can binge watch a show. I love documentaries. I just love Netflix. It's a way I can like come home after we put the girls down and eat dinner. Winston and I, we love to have a good show and it's great. So as I was scrolling through Netflix, I saw a documentary that I had heard a lot of people talk about, but I hadn't seen it. It was called Minimalism. So I was like, oh yeah, this would be cool. I'll totally watch this. By the end, I was like, praising Jesus, hallelujah. I was so fired up because not only do they talk about so much of what we talk about here on the show about getting out of debt and getting rid of stuff and selling stuff and not going into debt for things. I mean, everything we talk about, they kept reiterating and like kind of had the same philosophies. But their whole thing was that they got rid of a ton of their stuff because they realized that stuff does not equal happiness. And in America today, we've fallen into this lie that the more stuff you have, the better your life is going to be. And I just realized as I was watching this, I'm like, man, we have so much crap in our lives and in our houses and in our bathroom sinks and in our closets. Like we have so much stuff, so much stuff. And you know me, I enjoy some things. So I always say, it's okay to have nice stuff. Just don't let your nice stuff have you. But you walk into the average person's home and it's like, we just have stuff everywhere. It's just, it's unbelievable. And then again, for the average American that goes into debt to buy stuff that we do not need. And I just got so fired up. So I was like, who, who set the standard of living in America? Everyone says you gotta have this style, this lifestyle, like this is average. You know, whether it's a, a three car garage or a, a room for every person, it's just like, everything is just like, yeah, this is it, this is it. This is what your life should look like. This is the vacations you should take. These are the clothes you should wear. These are the brands that are great. Here's the grocery stores you should shop at. This is what's average. Who, who said that's average? Who said that's average? I'm like, no. It just made me so mad because I think we really have. We've gotten into this idea that, man, our lifestyle should look like this. And no matter what we make, no matter what our income is, we deserve this standard of living. And it just fired me up. And so I was like, we've got to get the minimalists on our show. We have to get them here to talk about all of this because you guys, again, stuff is not going to make you happy. Stuff is not going to make you happy. Stuff is not bad. I want you to be able to shop at the grocery store you want to, take the vacation you want. That's fine, those are not bad things. But when we put our value and our happiness that that stuff is going to fulfill us, it's not. We end up like a rat in a wheel for our entire lives chasing something that is never ever going to fulfill us. <sighs> are you mad too? I hope you're mad. I hope you're just like, you know what? I need to get rid of some crap in my house. So the money challenge for this episode is when this show is over, I want you to look around your house and I want you to start small, but get rid of one thing. Like go in your closet and be like, wow, I have four or five black long sleeve shirts. Have I worn one shirt, one of these shirts in a year? The answer is probably yeah, no, no, you haven't. Get rid of it, sell it, give it away. I don't care what you do with it. Get rid of one thing. Because when you start to purge a little bit, it's like, Wow, I did this. I went into my closet and I did this. I went and I looked. I was like, okay. I, I had this filter of, okay, if I was going on a four-week vacation, what what would I pack? So it's a lot, right? I mean, I, I, I enjoy clothes. But I'm like, half the stuff I haven't worn in like a year and a half, and I always have it in there. I'm like, well, just in case that one thing comes up, I'm gonna need it. Mm -mm. I chucked all that clothes and it felt so good to purge. It felt so good. 